Stuffings Alucard here. Today I have an updated list for you for 2B. Right, so if you don't know what 2B is, it is a free streaming service. Um, it does have ads, but it's uh, but they're not intrusive. So uh, they have tons and tons of awesome free movies to watch. So I'm going to give you my recommendations of what is on there at the moment. And I am filming this in January of 2022. So the first group I'm going to talk about is the horror movies. My first recommendation is a movie called Teeth from 2007. It is about a girl who develops a um, killer private area. And... um. It is preposterous, and it sounds insane, but it's fun. Next up, my next recommendation is going to be Night of the Comet. I'm sure most of you have probably seen it. Um, it's a post-apocalyptic uh, romp, I guess you could say. Next up, we have May from 2001, directed by Lucky McKee and starring Angela Bettis. Um, it's like a psycho-thriller um, type of deal. She's completely insane, um, and but her performance is fantastic. It's from New Zealand. We have Black Sheep from 2007. Um, it's basically a bunch of killer sheep, um, but it's hilarious. So check it out. From 1995, we have The Ice Cream Man, starring Clint Howard as a killer ice cream man. Now, if that doesn't sound fun, I don't know what does. On horror, we have Return of the Killer Tomatoes from 1988. This is the first sequel. It features a young George Clooney in an early role. And, of course, the Killer Tomatoes. Again, how can you not love that? From 2002, we head to France and High Tension. I know some people that don't like this one. Um, most of the people I know do enjoy it. Um, it's a slasher thriller type of deal. And my next two recommendations are from Full Moon Pictures. Uh, first up, we have Vampire Journals from 1997. Um, it's a spinoff of the Subspecies series, which all the Subspecies movies are on Tubi as well. Um, but it's sort of a class. It's sort of a interview with a vampire type of type of deal, sort of. From 1995, we have Castle Freak, directed by Stuart Gordon, and this is the original Castle Freak, not the new one that just came out. Um, the new one is not very good, but this old one from 95 is definitely worth a good watch. And the last horror one I'm going to mention is A Nightmare on Elm Street. Almost the entire franchise is on Tubi. The only one that's not on there is part four for some reason. Don't know why. All right, so the next batch is going to be the sci-fi section. First up, we have Killer Clowns from Outer Space from 1988. This is, of course, the absolute comedic sci-fi horror classic from 1986 we have Highlander the original Highlander with Christopher Lambert and Sean Connery stories about a bunch of immortals uh, battling it out through the ages next up from 2001 Donnie Darko which is a crazy little movie about this guy named Donnie who slowly starts losing his mind is the easiest way to put it. From 1985, we have the Toby Hooper directed Life Force, which is a movie basically about a bunch of space vampires. And speaking of aliens, we now we have 1986's Aliens, starring Sigourney Weaver. It's the sequel to Alien from 1979. And most people, including myself, like this one better than the first one. From 1992, we have Dr. Mordred, Starring Jeffrey Combs. It's sort of a um, superhero Doctor Strange type of deal, this one. Uh, but really cool. And I'm also going to recommend The Wishmaster from 1997. Uh, starring Andrew Divoff. Uh, they do have the entire franchise on Tubi. Uh, all four movies. Uh, the only one I really recommend is the first one. And lastly, in the sci-fi section, I recommend The Final Countdown from 1980 which is a movie about a ship that gets transported from 1980 
to uh, the World War II era. It's a time travel type thing. Uh, very, very good movie and highly underrated. All right, the next batch I'm going to talk about is some anime movies. I recommend Wicked City from 1987. It is definitely not a kid's movie at all. From 1988, we have Akira, or Akira, however you want to pronounce it. Um, it's the kind of the quintessential sci-fi anime movie. From 1986, we have Fist of the North Star. Uh, any fans of Dragon Ball Z? Uh, I definitely recommend this one. And also from 1988, the original Apple Seed. From 1995, I recommend a movie called Memories. It's an um, anime anthology movie. There's three different parts to it, and each one kind of goes back to wars and stuff. It's it's really, really interesting. From 2002, I recommend Millennium Actress, directed by Satoshi Kon, who is one of my favorite anime directors. He, uh, he directed Perfect Blue, which is probably my favorite anime of all time. Last anime recommendation is a movie called Jinro, The Wolf Brigade, from 2001. All right, and now one of my favorite sections, the So Bad It's Good movies. Um, these movies are terrible, but they're extremely fun to watch. And I have four of them for you. First up, we have Double Dragon from 1994, which is the feature film version of the video game Double Dragon. With Jimmy and Billy Lee, and it's played by Scott Wolf and Mark Dacascos. And Alyssa Milano's in it, too. It's along the same lines as the Super Mario Brothers with um, John Leguizamo and Bob Hoskins. It's along those lines, if you, if you catch my drift. But the next bad movie I'm going to recommend is Samurai Cop. The absolute action classic. It's so bad. It's <laughs> And if you've ever seen the Rift Tracks version, you know why. But it's, it's, it, this one really is so bad, it's good. From 1987... Absolute classic, Mac and Me, is on Tubi. Yes, indeed. Uh, Mac and Me is basically a big E.T. ripoff, um, and done for about an eighth of the budget. <laughs> and it's so... Everything about it is incredibly bad. And um, if you know the Paul Rudd situation, every time he went on Conan's Conan O'Brien's show... Uh, he played a clip from it every single time and it yeah it's just but this is the whole movie and yeah it's definitely worth a watch if you have not seen it and the last bad movie I'm gonna recommend is Beware the Blob which is the official first sequel to the classic The Blob from the late 50s this one was made in 1972 by Larry Hagman yes Larry Hagman of Dallas fame he made this and it is it's one of those, it's, you're watching it and you just bust out laughing because it's so incredibly crazy. Since we're going with the So Bad, So Good movies, the next section I'm going to go with is comedy. First up, we have Weekend at Bernie's from 1989. I'm sure everyone has probably seen Weekend at Bernie's by now. If not, go watch it. It's so incredible. It's, a, it's an absolute classic. It's about this guy named Bernie who dies. And these two guys that work for him uh like keep him alive standout performances by terry kaiser and andrew mccarthy and everybody uh, everybody everybody in the movie so good this comedy i'm gonna recommend is teen witch from 1989 starring robin lively uh yeah this movie it's a it's 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 a girly movie but it's um it's pretty funny um and i used to watch it all the time growing up and the last comedy I'm going to recommend is actually a documentary, but it's a funny documentary. It's called Winnebago Man, 2009. It is the story of a guy named Jack Redney, who was the star of a an RV uh, infomercial. And somebody had found clips of him, m like, messing up and, like, hitting the tires and cursing and... And, it, and so it became a big viral video, an early viral video. And so uh, this is now a couple years later, and these guys are trying to find out what happened to this guy. 
and it is it's one of the best documentaries I've ever seen. Highly, highly recommended. All right, next up we have the action genre, and my first recommendation here is going to be Commando from 1985, starring Arnold Schwarzenegger and Alyssa Milano, a little bitty Alyssa Milano, because she plays Arnold's daughter, and it's 1985. Um, yeah, this is probably Arnold's best movie, uh, you know, besides Terminator and Terminator 2. Quintessential action flick. Next up, we have Firecracker from 1981, produced by Roger Corman. And it's sort of a female Jean-Claude Van Damme type of character. Um, but highly entertaining. I, I really I really like this movie. All right, so Tubi also has Martial Law and Martial Law 2, both starring Cynthia Rothrock. I'm a huge fan of. Um, highly recommend both of these movies. Uh, she's a cop and uh, just kicks complete butt. Next recommendation, I'm going to go with the Ip Man trilogy. All three movies are fantastic. It's uh, starring Donnie Yen as the legendary Ip Man. Yeah, you want to watch some awesome martial arts stuff, you're not going to get any better than Donnie Yen. Speaking of martial arts, this next movie absolutely highly 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 recommend it has probably the best fight scenes of any movie it's called rise of the legend from 2014 this movie's fight scenes are absolutely incredible so if you like martial arts or kung fu at all definitely watch rise of the legend this last batch that i'm going to recommend is a bunch of different genres this is kind of everything else First up, we have Freeway from 1995, starring Reese Witherspoon and Kiefer Sutherland. Um, it's a kind of on-the-road thriller. Um, this was my introduction to Reese Witherspoon back in the day, and uh, I've been a fan ever since. It's a very intense movie, by the way. Speaking of intense movies, my next recommendation is Drive from 2011, starring Ryan Gosling. I have a couple more intense ones for you here. First up, we have Killer Joe. From 2012 um, yeah it's just a, it's a crazy crazy movie next up from 1987 River's Edge starring Keanu Reeves um, Ioni Skies in it Daniel Roebuck um, it's it's along the lines of Stand By Me except they're all older they're not um, you know they're like older teenagers they're not like 10 other intense ones to recommend is uh, Set It Off from 1996 um, it's a story of a bunch of female bank robbers um, really fantastic movie and one that probably does not get talked about enough and another fantastically acted movie that I will recommend for you is called South Central from 1992 the performances in this movie are absolutely dynamite all right next recommendation is the golden compass from 2007 I'm not sure why this movie didn't take off um, because it's really, it's fantastically done. It's great. Um, it's along the lines of Chronicles of Narnia, that type of deal. Uh, so if you like Chronicles of Narnia, I really think you'd like The Golden Compass. And my next two are kind of musical. Um, first up we have Crossroads from 1986. It stars Ralph Macchio as a blues guitar player. Next up from 2007, we have a movie called Once. It's a love story and a musical. Now for the final two recommendations. First up, we have The Killing from 1956. It is an early Stanley Kubrick movie um, about a racetrack heist. Very good movie. And last but certainly not least, and one of my all-time favorite movies, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, starring Clint Eastwood, Lee Van Cleef, and Eli Wallach, and directed by Sergio Leone. All right, so I hope you enjoyed my list today. Uh, I'll probably do this type of video every couple months just to update you on the Tubi situation because Tubi changes frequently. Um, so if you like this type of content, give me a thumbs up. It really helps me out. It helps Frankenstein out too. And uh, subscribe if you're new. And I will see all you guys next time. Remember, stay spooky.